expressing result with so that and such that. Well, previously we have seen expressing a result using so, therefore, as a result, as consequence, consequently, thus, and so on and so forth. Example, he didn't revise his lessons, so he didn't score well. So he didn't score well is the result. The cause is that he didn't revise his lesson. The result is he didn't score well. Example two, she didn't <coughs> example two, it rained heavily. As a result, we didn't go for a picnic. So why didn't we go for a picnic? The reason is that it rained heavily. Okay, so we didn't go for a picnic is the result of the cause it was raining heavily. Well, today we are going to see or to learn how to express the result using so that and such that. But, first of all, let's see the difference between so and such. We have so plus adjective or adverb. Example, he is so tall. Tall is an adjective. She is so friendly. So here we have so plus adjective. So plus adverb. She drives so slowly. So slowly is an adverb. He runs so quickly. So we have here so plus adjective or adverb and such plus a or a n plus noun or a noun phrase. Well, the noun phrase is made up of uh, adjective, an adjective plus a noun. So for the first sentence, he is so tall with so. When we write it with such, we say he is such a tall man. He is such a tall man. We have tall man is a noun phrase. It is made up of adjective plus noun. Tall is adjective and man is a noun. Second sentence. She is so friendly. With such, it becomes she is such a friendly person. We can say she is such a friendly person. She is a, such a friendly woman. Since she is such a friendly girl and so on and so forth. Next, she is such a slow driver. She drives slowly. Slowly is an adverb. She is such a slow driver. The adverb here we have adjective plus noun. Slow is an adjective, driver is a noun. For the last example, he runs so quickly. Quickly is an adverb. He is such a quick runner. Okay? So you see the verb became a noun and the adverb became an adjective. Quick is an adjective, runner is a noun. Note that we add so and such to emphasize whatever we are saying. Now let's see, let's practice when do we use so and when do we use such. So fill in the blanks using so or such. Sentence number one, you look, gap, tired. Sentence number two, he is a nice man. Sentence number three, Venice is lovely city. Four, she paints beautifully. Five, the food was delicious. Six, the hotel had comfortable beds. I leave you one minute to do it, then we'll correct. Plus 
none. So what shall we put here? Yes, that's correct. We put such because after such we have a noun phrase. So we say he is such a nice man. Venice is a lovely city. A lovely city is yes, it is a noun phrase also. So what shall we put here? We put such. Venice is such a lovely city. And I can tell you that Venice is really a lovely city. For she paints beautifully. Beautifully is an adjective or not verb? Yes, it's not verb. So what shall we put here? We put so. She paints so beautifully. Fine. The food was delicious. The word delicious is an adjective. So what shall we put? We put so. The food was so delicious. It was very delicious that I finished all my plate. Six, the hotel had comfortable beds. Comfortable beds is not a phrase. Comfortable is an adjective. Beds is a noun. We didn't put A or N because the noun is plural. So what shall we say? The hotel had comfortable, had such comfortable beds. Now let's see. So plus adjective plus that and the equivalent in with such plus now phrase that. We shall take the same sentences so as to see the difference and to be able to change from so that to such that easily. Okay? Especially when you have a question in the baccalaureate exam. Example number one. The box is heavy. I cannot lift it. With so that I'm going to say the box is so heavy that I cannot lift it. Heavy is an adjective. Well, to turn the sentence or to use such that instead of so that, we are going to say it's such a heavy box that I cannot lift it. You see? Example 2, she speaks English so fluently 